Hey guys, if somebody leaves a Mopar drag pack outside the garage of their man cave, what do you think is inside that? Come with me and check it out. So welcome to another episode of Junkyards and Barn Finds with Sean and I'm Sean. Hey, good morning, guys. We are um, up near Wikiwaki Springs uh, in a town near that place. It's a private home, private collection. And uh, I met these guys the other day. You might remember this car right here. It's a Mopar drag pack that's for sale. And I met Andy. Uh, Warlick Andy is the gentleman who is selling this car. Uh, hopefully today it's really, really windy as you can see by the flags here and the trees and stuff. So hopefully um, we don't pick up too much wind. But this is a drag pack car that he's selling. Uh, Andy spends a lot of time in Florida and a lot of time up in uh, Maine near Bath, Maine. I used to be stationed at Brunswick, Maine and lived up in that area back in the 1980s, back in the day. So he is a, a collector. It says used car dealer. He is a collector. Uh, he deals with muscle cars. And so at the bottom of this, I'm going to put his contact information. If you, he, we're going to see some of the cars that he has. And if there's any of them that you are interested in, that are for sale reach out to him he'll definitely uh want to talk to you all right guys a pontiac g8 gt with an ls it's an automatic It's an 09. Now this thing has a six liter V8. A six liter V8, not five liter, six liter in this little car. So that is pretty, pretty cool. And by the way, that's how it came. That's how rare it is, that's how it came. And it's race red. All right, let's go in. So we are walking into the shed. First thing, we got we got two things over there we're gonna look at. But first we're gonna take a look at this red truck. So another nice Chevy truck, step side. It's really beautiful, look at that bed. It's got the wood bed. Everything he's got has some custom uh, paint of some kind on it, a little bit here or there. Inside he got a beautiful interior, black and red. Man, this smells, it smells nice, actually. All right, he's got some mothballs down there, and I guess with the seats and all, just the leather and everything, it smells good. So you can see it's pretty stock, except for them gauges. And this one has, uh, I can't read how many miles on it, but it's a C10 step side. And I think it's a 70, what's a 16, could be a 69 or 68 with that grill. Could be a 70. I don't know. I have to look. But it's a really nice truck all around. It's got some dust on it. It's been sitting a while. You can see how dusty it is. So it does need to be clean. These things are just sitting in here. Pretty sweet. So it's a nice little man cave in here. All right, kind of looks like the Vice Grip Garage man cave actually. Uh, I don't know if it's as big. I think it's as big as maybe his first one. It's probably the same type building. And then you have, look at this. 
Beautiful Nova SS. Beautiful Nova SS. What year is this one? I'm wondering if it's a 68. I don't know. Let's let's pop the lights on if we can, if there are lights in here. Beautiful. And there is a special car next to it. Let's see if he has lights. I'll let him turn them on. Is that these? Right here, let's see. There we go. Alright. So we have these lights on. And check out this helmet. Everybody has to have an easy rider helmet. Everybody had to have an easy rider helmet. Okay. So here we go. So an SS. Let's pop open the hood. Look at that. This thing is perfect. It's got air conditioning. Does not have headers. I'm wondering if this is the original block. This that looks that's on the roof, guys. It's uh nuts that come down. So it's a 350 small block. It says SS on it right there. Let's open this up. SS steering wheel, original air, that is an automatic on the column, power steering, power brakes, it does have uh, the three gauges in here, which this here, body by Fisher, look at that bench seat, look at the back bench, this thing is beautiful inside and out. Black dash, black uh, headliner, black rugs, door panels. I, that whole interior is perfect. It's got the SS hood on it. Beautiful car. No mirrors on the passenger side. Wow, what a what a sweet car. All right, then over here, this is a Dale Earnhardt signed number three Monte Carlo SS. So this is the Dale Earnhardt edition. Western Steer, Monte Carlo, Dale Earnhardt, he's sitting in there. 1995, rare find. It is a for real, a for real Earnhardt Western Store edition. Bone stock, completely original, two owner car, 1995. So... Daytona, it was here, that's Daytona, Daytona, right there. So, 1995, number 23 of 25. This is only number, this is number 23 of only 25 Dale Earnhardt signed on the dash cars. This is only one of turning that was personally autographed. Dale Sr., number three, personally signed this Western Steer Monte Carlo 
at his Chevy dealership in North Carolina for a promo deal. This is the only other one that, that, that basically that I know of. And this is an actually signed on the dashboard car with Daryl Daryl Earnhardt. So there's only 25 of these. So in case you guys don't know, and I think we went there, but I'm not sure when we were in North Carolina because we went to Dale Jr.'s headquarters. But this car itself, Dale. The only ones the VIN Engine 3 ever produced. That's one way to tell a real one from a fake. So it has a three at the end. At the end of the VIN, they're the only ones that end in three. three. So that way you can see that, guys. You can see it right there. It ends in three. So Dale Earnhardt owns a Chevy dealership. In fact, you'll hear Dale Jr. on his podcast a lot talk about how he worked there and actually got fired from there. And so this was one of the cars from, I'm assuming, because there's 25 of them, that he signed these cars for his dealership as a promo. And why not? Because for the price of a Sharpie, he can add a ton of money to the cost of it. And that's what he did. And so this is the 23rd of those. Who knows what happened to the first 22 or the last two? But we know this is a real one. You can go by the VINs because Chevy made a VIN specifically for this. And so it's got the pedigree and everything else. So all these cars, now this, that car there is super, super special. So for you guys, especially you watch my channel, um, and maybe I'll put a link to the Dale Jr. When we were at Dale Jr.'s place, I'll put a link to this video so that way you guys can link back and forth to see. But for that, that's crazy. It's 100% original too, guys. They didn't mess with it. They didn't change the wheels, tires, any of that kind of stuff. It's as... Actually, the only thing not original to the car from the factory are the windshield wiper blades, the tires, and brake lines. Which is maintenance. Yeah. Um, other than that, when I took the vehicle out of its storage, I took it directly to a Chevrolet dealer in Lewiston, Maine, so it could go back in their registry and had all GM Delco Remy tune-up parts put in it so there'd be nothing from Napa or Stego or whatever. So everything under the hood is still all Delco Remy. Excuse me, the battery was also changed. Okay. But, I mean, other than that, but other than that. Oh, but God, I mean, no, it's, everything's original. And if you're nice, he may even throw the cardboard Dale Earnhardt with you that's in the driver's seat right now. Yeah. So... But then, and then next to this, like we said, is a beautiful... Now, this is somewhere between a 68 and a 72. That's, I, yeah, that's a, uh, I'm not saying it's a 72, because it wouldn't... If it was 72, it would have glass turn signals on the side, right? I believe it is a 71. Okay. I should look at my key tag, but I think... I had a 72 Camaro I got rid of. <sighs> I believe this is a 71 car. Yeah. I guess okay. I got the tag, the door tag from the factory right there. But it has the, the twin, there it has the SS hood on it, it has oh, yeah. the SS the marks. Been, the car has been, there's 15,000 miles since a literal rotisserie that was done on the car. Now, is it an SS? No. Okay, this so. This is a clone car. Okay, it is a clone, but I mean, it has all the pieces oh, and stuff. Yes. It's got the steering wheel, it's got the it hood, has, it's got all the stuff that makes it look SS. And it is the uh, Vortec crate motor so it's not an old school motor this is the predecessor to your ls motors it's a the vortex style motor with the large pulley system single belt large pulley system updated uh, the whole motor and everything this is like this motor would have been in uh late 80s early 90s gm stuff okay these were fuel injected motors but it, and it has an updated air conditioning oh, AC, system too is so new. oh yeah so this is you can get in this and drive car shows three states over yeah and then pull the hood up and it looks beautiful and the interior is spotless yeah nice so job. and then that truck over there what is, is that a 68 7 67 small okay. back window no side marker lights so factory v8 automatic power steering power brake truck it'll be sold one of two ways when i get ready to sell it either with the turbo 350 or i have underneath that crate 
a 700 r4 on top of there behind okay. that creek still is a flywheel and a torque converter and everything i need to convert it to an overdrive automatic so truck. what right now it's, turbo 350. it's a turbo 350 with a small block in yeah, there 350 okay. small block okay. with a turbo 350. so this is what and and this is andy guys so we're this is what we're right. so andy's here andy's new to florida kind of sort of yes but you're from new england maine yeah yeah so he's so to him this is weird because there's no weight reduction around everything <laughs> so he's not used to having like stuff that actually doesn't have sharp pointy uh you jaggedy know things. jaggedy yeah. things in it so this is like to him he's like this must be brand new and fiberglass and because <laughs> down here he doesn't realize this stuff stays like this forever yeah which but, we like so he's he's new down here and he, and you have a car dealer now do you still have a car dealership up north yes so he has so he and you kind of deal with this kind of stuff but off do you deal with the regular stuff too or are you pretty much more of a i do more towing equipment and special interest vehicles than regular ones okay but i do do things like well the diesel truck pickup out there i'll do later model special interest okay and then do you have a website for no, your business no okay so this may be the only time you get to see the stuff in florida right now Guaranteed. and <laughs> and he now that we've no we met each other a couple of days ago if he gets something cool in maybe he'll give me a holler i can come up here and we'll throw it on the channel but his phone number is going to be below and so if, if you ever want to get a hold of him or say if you're interested in one of these everything's for sale i'm assuming yes so um you know so he, uh, you know if you want this lift he'll sell it to you probably cost you twice as much as the one's going to replace it for that person just tell him it goes with the property <laughs> yeah you can buy the house that <laughs> toilet that big fan yeah, all this stuff's for sale you buy the property both lifts come with it uh, but anyway so we got a couple of vehicles in here that are really special so uh for the dale earnhardt stuff that's you're not gonna that car is a one of one because it's number 23 and you're not going to find 23 and you're not going to find the three at the end unless it's one of the 25 that did that so we're going to kind of walk around because uh, uh, there's some other cars here on the outside of the property we can check out so first if you 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 must have a feel for chevy trucks because i got a couple i was of them. raised in them and unfortunately i have a weakness for them yes so because guys this was my first truck which was a long bed mine was a six cylinder i think this is a 72 right is that is correct 72 mine was the same except i had the six cylinder and then we bought that state police car and put that in without changing the six cylinder brakes so it could never stop <laughs> but but that was my first time i changed the motor was uh putting a 73 police state uh, pennsylvania state trooper engine in this and it would creep it couldn't hold itself with the six cylinder Still, brakes yeah but so this is another one this is really pretty um and this is a long bed no that's a six foot bed that's a six a foot bed side, not a, oh yeah wow yeah, yeah. okay because mine was an eight mine was yours a long eight bed foot, yeah. eight yours foot been okay a, yours been as long as the front and the back this you know what it is water. that little truck i have is a five foot bed so anything that's longer than that five foot now in my brain looks six yep. feet because yep. i always go wow i wish i had a longer one like that don't we always wish we had yeah, a longer yeah, one yeah. like that yeah. Yeah. so but it's two-wheel drive right yes it is and posi rear end oh yeah so and then it's got a turbo 350 or a turbo this one's a turbo 350 training okay. with a 350 motor okay um is it pretty is seat. it a stock motor or is yes, it still yes. okay stock with the original carburetor on it that still functions all right can we, it's gone through yes please go can ahead we open that or do we have to i don't remember do we have to no, open no it's all here? on the outside okay it's on not the, the, it's not pretty it's getting patinaed up now but it's a good well i mean you, if any of you guys wanted to take a nice buff to this oh, it no. would come out well i mean like super, under the hood super. and everything it's not oh. detailed like a show vehicle right. this is my so this my is drivers. a this is a driver vehicle and original now did you put i flipped steer? that over no the power steer this truck has the original build sheet tag still on the glove box door that tells you everything that it has wow. still there and legible this actually i found six and a half hours from where i live in maine on the vermont new hampshire border in the middle of nowhere and it turns out the truck came from 15 minutes from where i live in maine wow 10 years prior to that the gentleman died who owned it it came out of gardner maine wow and but it didn't have power steering but it, it had it had all this it had okay. steering and brakes okay because i see the power steering they're pumped there too so. yeah yeah power steering so. power brake truck 
just no factory air because in New England you don't right. really need it. Yeah, the 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 coldest winter I ever had was June in in Bath, Maine. <laughs> so that was freezing up yeah. there. Yep, but, just a nice daily driver so, truck, but I mean like original. That's one of those old spread right. bores. You everybody's puts those friggin' Edelbrox on. That's right. twice the carburetor. Put a kit in your old friggin' spread bore, guys. It'll work just fine. And the thing is, this would be like a really good. So you're somebody who wants to get into working on your cars or working on trucks and you're like i don't know what to do or maybe your, your son or daughter is getting that age mm. this is a perfect family vehicle one oh, yeah. you can use it as a truck yeah two it's an automatic so they don't have to get you know the millennial uh yeah. um what's it called try to stick shift stick they shifts they don't have going. to do that but the other thing is look how he is you got hose for heaters yeah everything in here is simple so you could really teach somebody there's your entire blower motor setup so if you want to if you got a replace for heat or defrost that's it it's not yep. climbing underneath your dashboard and wrestling things it's i mean there's simple. hardly any hoses here this is like this is where you could learn how to work on vehicles like a lot of us did that's right and did. you don't need a computer or anything else you just need a, a and you don't even need a 10 millimeter because they didn't use 10 millimeters oh with no these. You could literally, <laughs> you could literally take this truck with 3 8 7 16 half inch, 5 8 and 3 quarter inch wrenches, would completely disassemble this truck with those items right there, and a Phillips head, and a straight screwdriver. Other than that, literally, that's yeah. all you need. This, yeah. my, so this, my father did it, and I can show you the toolbox yeah. in the house. And, we did, and when we changed ours out... We pulled it under a tree, took the hood off, yeah. and used the tree with a come along as the. So simple. Thing. Yeah, these are the simplest so vehicles, simple. but they're absolutely useful and everybody loves them. Yeah. So then this one's a little different because I can see it already has LED lights on it. Yeah. So this one, I'm assuming, is not stock under the hood, or maybe mm, it is. No, this one is not. This truck has had the suspension upgraded, it has had uh, front disc conversion, power steering conversion, all modern upgraded stuff with the last. Is this a. Years. What's this? 65 no this would be a 60 66 cab on a 64 frame okay all the same just different where they put the emblems is about the only real difference in them but this now oh, if we can get it up oh, oh there we go no hands 383 early stroker motor we pulled out of a friggin old stock car we ran back east um so this is the rape date one where this you is can... one of them that does all kinds of craziness and has a brand new i haven't put 50 miles on it okay brand new four grand worth of uh 700 r4 uh gosh 3600 stall converter one of the little purple ones oh gosh it's anyways the transmission's good for up to 1200 horsepower and probably an ls is going to go in this so I got the tranny already done, and then this motor may end up in the red truck. There you go. Yeah. And this don't have a heater. No, this and, is not. But it has some decent brakes. Oh, brand new upgraded brakes, disc front, um, four-linked, power steering. Like I say, everything's modern. This drives like a 2020, only goes about three times as fast. Okay. Funner than half. Just a toy. But no air, con no air conditioning. Uh, turn the vents open all the way, 60. Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> twin, 260 air. Yeah, yeah. So, and and it has a really cool look. And now, did you put RPM auto sales on nope, that, or nope. that, that came that way? A gentleman I purchased it from had RPM auto, oh, probably six, seven years ago. Okay. And we just kind of wiped it off, and that's as far as I got. It this looks is cool, though. Rat it's like truck. a hidden rat rod, yeah. Well, it's neat, because it's... We've moved the fuel tank. There's no tank here. It goes through the bed. Okay. Um, so is this the tank? Or no, is it no, underneath? No, the tank's underneath the back oh, okay. like a modern pickup. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then we did modern gauges, modern column, modern seats. Okay. Uh, yeah, just a good... Yeah, that's a nice looking seat. Yeah. Oh, comfy. There. Comfy yeah. old, compared to old truck seats. Yep. And you got, here's where everybody's wrench went. Oh, gosh, yeah. And, and, and ratchets, yeah. ratchets. So it's got some character. Well, I'm disabled. And instead of having to twist all the way around, which is hard for me, right. I can flip it up or down. Oh, and just you know what? It. I never even thought of that. So, you, oh, look yeah, at that. down and then flip it the other way and it'll go up. Well, you know what? It works for disabled people why, very well, to be honest Why they you. haven't invented this? They did. I did. As a, well, you. why? Other than you, they haven't put these on. That that would have been that would have been a gazillion dollar idea yeah. in about 1956. That's why I like some Mercedes, because you get in, and when I got hurt bad, I couldn't twist around and grab a seat belt. 
I had a Mercedes a few years back that when you got in and closed the door and turned the key on, the seat belt come okay. right out beside you. So you could yeah. just grab, I love that. Yep. I would incorporate that in American cars if I could. But this oh. is a nice Texas, this is a Texas truck. So there's We no... did not fix, those are original rockers. That's the original cab corners. These wow. are original door bottoms. These are the original rain gutters that shouldn't so exist. So this thing never, ever Got rusted, it. man. They not just bad. sit. We they just the bake. There is, you can see it. Right. We left it so you can see how a nice this. Bit there. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, there's. That's five years ago. We didn't touch nothing. And of this thing's as old as I am. I'm a '66 model. Yeah. Which with a worse body. <laughs> so thank God I don't have cancer, but we'll go with that. Mm. And then this here is a pretty cool thing. So, yeah. so is was is this a a tool or is this a fun truck or is it both? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to use it as fun, plus it is a tool. Now, is this the original cab that came with it? Or this is the original truck as it came, other than now it's patinaed looking because right. of weather. So it was originally a Dodge Ram, was that 78, This 74? is a 85 oh, wow. D3500, and they call it the Royal SE because it has air conditioning, cruise control, power steering, power brake, tilt wheel, power windows, the radio like you'd see in an old LeBaron Imperial because that's the vintage. Right. But it was the most options you could get in the cab of that truck for that year. 48,000 original miles, Hodges body. And this is, so this, this most people made. would, this was made for like race teams and stuff. This yes. was, this one was not made for your service center because you're not gonna get all that stuff with a service center. This is for no, somebody no, no, no that has a show car or a race car, exactly. and they were hauling their personal stuff with this They were this hauling one. their race car probably with yeah. this one. That's and, interesting, this is, in, this is a work in progress. I dug this out, uh, a gentleman bought it in Maine. It came from South Carolina, paperwork in the glove box. A gentleman bought it from Maine, drove it up in 2019 did not like it because he'd never had anything with a long body parked it beside his garage right. and hadn't touched it since 2019 okay. i went to look at a pickup truck he had sitting there because i like pickups didn't buy the pickup saw this and the bushes growed up by the headlights and now it's in my driveway 1700 miles farther away than where it's at we jumped it it started under its own friggin power with the battery that's in it the battery that's still in it we got it to rock back and forth, popped it out of the ruts because it sunk, the tires weren't even flat. I drove it 105 miles after it sat since 19 to my home, caught the passenger side front wheel on fire because the caliper stuck, Right. put that out. It kind of unstuck. We made it the rest of the way home. And, you didn't and it's got dualies, and the dualies didn't blow? Oh, nothing. It was wow. a front front brake that stuck, not a oh, rear. Oh, wow. wow. Um, then we did a bunch to it up in Maine at my shop up there before we brought it down here. And now I wasn't going to touch this truck or paint it because right. it's, it has. It, it, yeah, I shouldn't, but I'm going to because I'm wacky. I don't like this. Oh, I'm going you. to fix this. Well, if I could show you other rollbacks that I had, my business was actual tow trucks. Right. And to me, though, this is 34, 5 years old. It should be mint. It's going to be half the stuff you saw me unpack right. today used to do this truck. Okay. But it's, yeah, pull out ramps that work nice. The winch, when you open the winch box up, it's still mint underneath that because it was in the Carolinas its whole life. And, and it was covered. Yeah. So yeah. nice. Well, I mean, like the toolboxes. These trucks normally. The boxes rot out and the doors yep. fall off. And the locks are gone oh, yeah. and all that other stuff. Look at those yeah. original floors. These are original oh, doors. Oh, wow. The, and they, they didn't <laughs> leave all the oil and grease things and other stuff in there. Nothing. Wow. This is, yeah, and they open up with the handle. I haven't cleaned this. And they open up with a handle. Yeah, every which, one of them work choice. Wow. Just like, just like that. I, I chuckled. This is why I had to buy the thing. This yeah. is how I got it. It's like... And it's sat since 19, so it's been sitting three and a half, almost four years. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And then the gut, of course, I got junk piled up in it. But, right. But, uh, I mean, look not at... Not a rip, not a crack in that solid dash. That seat looks like it's is a seat brand new. No, that's the original oh my seat God. in the truck. Guys, this seat, look, this seat is <laughs> perfect. I thought maybe you were... No. It's so clean and yeah. so nice. It replaced it, and it has a CB antenna. Yeah. Or CB, CB radio. CB radio, yeah, yeah. Wow. And the brake booster to tow a trailer. Yep. And 
Oh yeah, it's ready to. Uh -huh. It's almost ready to go now. I actually wow. am going to take it up this coming weekend to the uh, and electric, show. Electric everything. Yeah. Cruise so. works. Air blows cold. All the windows tilt. work. Tilt. Air cruise. Everything like a modern wow. vehicle. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and if you remember Dodges, that yeah. shouldn't be connected. You can jump on that. You're no yeah. little guy. Yeah. yeah. The underneath's cleaner than the top, and wow. I'm disabled and haven't climbed underneath. But I've had three people underneath this truck, and they go, "Wow, Andy. wow, wow!" And I just chuckle because they wouldn't be saying "Wow" if it weren't "Wow." Wow, I'm saying "Wow," and it's like I'm not even thinking of saying "Wow." I'm just saying it because it's it's, kind of it's just this is. I hate to fix this, but right. I like shiny. So so I don't know. Well, if you're gonna make the rest shiny, it has to be shiny. <sighs> 360 has been taken out. They put a friggin' aluminum intake on and a Holly dual feed double bar. No, is that a dual feed or not? Uh, no, I don't think it is. No. That's another one that I got. That's not. This is a single feed. Wrong truck, sorry. <laughs> this is like a Ram's head exhaust. On it's this. the original. Wow. It's an original 360 friggin' motor. Air blows cold. Now it's a single it's battery screws. unit, or is it supposed no, to be a dual battery? battery. In okay. Box in the front on oh, this okay. Because most of them are two battery it, units. So. It is. They mounted it in the body. I can actually so, show you that if you like. Oh no, we're. I mean, you can, but we'll no, take. Yeah. We'll take it. That's what we're here for. We're here to look at this thing. Yeah. So, and you guys probably want to look at this thing. The, I haven't even taken it out and cleaned it up. So yet, it has the hard battery it. box here. Oh gosh, yeah. So that way it separates it from all the anything else you want to store. Yeah. So there you go. Look at yeah. that. And they must still be waterproof because I don't see any rust on the bottoms of them. Or not. And it sits outside. Yeah. There she sits. You're seeing it. Yeah. So crazy. I love it. It's yeah. one of my favorite. And it, and, it ha and you, I rarely ever saw. That's why I thought maybe somebody put this front end or this cab on it. You don't, you don't see, see the Dodge. Everything's Unless Ford it was or Chevy. A factory race team. Right. That was running Mopar. You didn't see Dodge. That's what I'm wondering. It came from South Carolina. Maybe, maybe it was. Well, I can look up history, and at some point I will. Right. I just got here a little while ago, so. You're still playing, still moving oh, gosh, in. Yes. So, and then since he has a Dodge, we'll talk about the elephant in the room that we've already looked at once. But, <laughs> um, so this is a drag pack, and for those who are maybe watching this that don't know what a drag pack is most of my people do because we've seen them and everything else so tell somebody what is a drag pack this is an early car this is an early drag pack the ones you now see on the tv advertisements the ones that were just drag pack are fiberglass nose non-street legal like the copo camaros right in 15 i believe was the first year you could get on the dash what they call if i have it unlocked Nope. That's, lock. Anyways, That's okay. Super drag pack. It's when you watch those street drag shows, when right. they get on the computer and it tells them what they were doing when they right. get done with each run, those are built in these cars. It's like the right demon in the, the Hellcat that, yes. that you can pull that menu up. Yes, you pull the menu up. This was the first stages of those. So this isn't a fiberglass nose. It is street legal. It isn't anything you had to make that way. But it is a drag pack. Oh, it's a super drag pack car. Okay. Literally documented. The button's on the dash, that's super drag pack. You push the button, there you go, and it brings up all this stuff on the screen. No, right. it's a legit car. It's just very rare. They don't, you don't see right. them, period. Well, the other thing that threw me with this is I've seen a lot of these at Gainesville and when we've been down at uh, different drag races, but the drag packs that you do no, not no. have um, a sunroof. They did or didn't? They didn't. No, no they don't. I, that's no. what I was like, no. wait a minute first year because they're trying to get the whole body to be as stiff as possible exactly. and supportive as possible exactly. why would you cut this and put this in but this is factory to yes. this car yes it is so this is a no paint job car never been painted bring a mill gauge stick it all over original car it's just it's an oddball I, right. I had sold I had a mr. Norm's Grand Spalding Dodge number eight in production I sold that, and I like having an oddball Chrysler product. Right. So Mr. Norm's was really rare. This isn't quite as rare, but it's the only one I've seen lurking when but I go to shows. Some of the options I've never seen, and we every option and, offered for that year, which is funny. Yeah. You never see them shaker hood. Most all these right. cars are solid hood with the, just the little scoops. Yeah. Right, because they yeah. also don't want the air to yeah. come through. Yeah. That yeah. disrupts the air. Weird. Someone must have ordered the car. 
Somebody went like this. Check, 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 yeah, check, check, yeah, check. Yeah. They had no intentions of racing it, probably. No. They just wanted the coolest car yeah. on the block. No, yeah. I don't believe it's ever been put down a track. It, I'm second owner, and I don't count because I'm a dealer. Right. So, in essence, it's sold as a one-owner car. Yeah. yeah. Tight, new, no kids, no pets, no tobacco. And this is, just so you guys know, it is for sale. And as y'all know, we don't discuss price, and I don't get involved in that. So that's a fo that's a phone call. So yeah. um, you know, uh, Mr. Wellborn, Tim Wellborn, if you're looking for something else for your collection that's kind of different, this might be good for your collection up in Alabama. There's a couple other of you that out there that, that get these things. I met you at the uh, Carlisle show. So give a call. To, you know, Andy. Andy will pick up the phone. I'll go. Oh, you're open to offers. Oh, always. So, and then we got two other vehicles here that I want to look at. One is pretty, you don't see a lot of these anyways. The SSRs, they, they didn't make, I think, sell as many as they wanted to. Um, but this one is supercharged, which I thought was added. I didn't know that you made, like, it was factory. Yeah, the last so, year they made them, the last year they were produced, you could get a supercharged option which really nobody got now was this a convertible still or yes, this okay the top goes down because it's here this flips up okay because i was looking at it, i was trying to figure out is it one is it like a hard top because of the way the seals look the seals look actually pretty solid yeah, yeah. so i guess this is the spot the right that, here yeah, that, that okay. and right here both because it'll come okay. it'll come off of there it sets into that kind of okay so that's like an overhang to keep yeah. to seal it yeah so but this and one here, you, you I said... I have, well, the dash that's on it right. is faded and junk, but if you look at the door panels and headliner... So that's what it should look like. Well, this is all custom. The door panels and the headliner isn't factory. Neither is the stuff on the dash. Oh, okay. That was done after. So somebody did that. Yes, the guy who bought it, because that was all bright red like this. Okay. Now, I have brand new, in the back of this vehicle, I have all 700 the... bucks worth of brand new rosewood inlay. Okay. All cut out to take that off and put the brand new rose. 700 bucks for the rose. Is that shifter has got to be aftermarket, or is that what came with it? That's, no, no, the shifter's normally about this tall. Okay, that's what I thought. Disabled. I am, once again, it's a one owner, but I'm second owner. Right. The people I got it from, he was disabled hand-wise. And he oh, couldn't gotcha. look down here and shift it, so they extended it for him. Okay. Still shifts like stock. Okay. It's just up where he can be reached and seen without... Without looking down or feeling down it. Gotcha, right around, okay. Yeah. And it's got power, everything, seats, oh, yeah. windows, all that. And then this has a six liter LS2 in it. Yep. Supercharged. Yeah, with two shots of nitrous and a shot of alcohol, but that was put on afterwards. Oh. Now, is this, this is, is this the original paint? I keep no. saying, I didn't think so, because this is, a, this is about a mile deep with this, these. The, the paint. The paint. The paint has been done, this is originally all black. Right. The mirrors are okay. original paint. Um, like you guys hear me say when I see sparkles is this if it wasn't a car it would be on a pole yeah, so yeah but. supercharger factory right there a magna charger there's a, the the number and everything that's supposed okay. to that matches the vehicle these right here would be your two shots of nitrous okay that go to the back which I can open and this right here is a shot of alcohol with a tank down there oh, a little wow. tank so I've personally used absolutely none of it the supercharger on that six liter is all you need really but it has nitrous alcohol every so this thing's got to put out what 800 horsepower oh, when I it's think like shooting? 960 i was gonna say use, if you use every everybody yeah all, I'm, I'm at like close to 600 just with the blower on the motor to say all the bells and whistles on one, this thing one and two i believe so the gentleman who owned it before might have been handicapped but he was making up for all the the time he lost actually it was his girlfriend that's why this oh, okay. is named big red there's a picture oh, okay. on the back she was a military veteran. Okay. He does prosthetics for a living. Okay. They went from rags to riches. They wow. got a contract for a lot of the prosthetics for the okay. military. And he hauls his pot belly pigs around with this. Oh. He bought okay. a brand new T-Rex because right. the pigs got too big for the trailers. Gotcha. And now he uses one of those $110,000 T-Rexes. Right. To take his pigs for a ride, and I am not <laughs> lying. I can take you to Donella so, and introduce you. So that's to the guy. what he does. Yeah, he lives so, a really good life. Sells hey, prosthetics. And you know what? <laughs> if you if you need a prosthetic, and she's a veteran, yeah. more power to him. Yeah, and they're nice people. So. 
Look at so. they, they built the pools. So now, would this have could... come with it as well, or is that? No, nope, that's something they added. Okay, so that's something yep. they added as well. When I got it, it would shoot nitrous out the nose, like you've got to watch too many monster truck shows. Right. And then there's propane in the back also, so it would shoot, it would snort out the scoop and have flames coming out of the tailpipes. Wow. I have disconnected that because I'm not quite to that point. Right. I so back in like the 1950s when they used to do it on the back of a Mercury or something. Same thing. Same thing. Only this guy used, well, if I had my keys. That's too, okay. In the back's a big nitrous tank mounted on this side. Okay. On the other side's two blue, blue propane bottles. So instead of blowing fuel there, he just blows propane, propane. there. It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and it ignited really good. Okay. <laughs> the actual igniters and stuff are still there. I just All right. The so, somebody can, so somebody can use it. Nothing to it. it. Put new bottles in. Hit there the switch. You you're on your way. There you go. I don't want to melt That's down a burnout. A, I don't want to melt down right. a plastic bumper cover in right. case something happens. Somebody so behind you. Or, or not just yours, but the person behind you. Yes, that too. You know, that, that $110,000 Corvette that's sitting back there yes. probably isn't going to oh. like the, his droop nose just melting to the... the I'd be rather upset with me. I do believe. <laughs> yes, he was. So it then really the was. last car here, yep. I mean, well, we, we could show also, if you guys are interested, I know if I put this on too much, you guys will give me a hard time because it's not really in keeping with our channel, but he does also have this 2500 heavy duty. What is it? It's an 18. 2018. 18, uh, Duramax diesel um, LT2 Z71. Still has 30,000 of bumper to bumper on the warranty. Right. There's no tuner been done. We did the mile lift, the wheels. I have power steps because I'm disabled. Right. The tonneau is watertight and so on. And once again, no kids, no tobacco, no pets. So that's something if you are you north go with the trailer too. If you want to buy a truck and a new trailer to tow your car home, maybe come if get you want to buy a new, everything. if you buy a car but you don't have a way to get home, yeah. you can buy the trailer yeah. and the truck yeah. and take them all home at one time. That's right. There you go. That's right. So all right. So then <laughs> this is to what I kind of like, which is this was the stuff that was in my high school parking lot with a big M. We used to call them M50s. I don't know if that's an M50. Cooper Tire used to put big M50s on oh, there. Yeah. It's got the 1980s to me 80s they could be 70s but when i was in high school they were the same rims that i had on my chevelle yes. big aluminum slots yep. so um and this has a 383 stroke now I, I think i read in there 500 horsepower plus 500 plus horsepower and brand new still there isn't 200 miles on the motor and tranny and it's a tci turbo 400 okay the car hasn't been on the road 200 miles since any of that and it's a 74 it. right this is a 77 oh 77 okay 74 5 6 7 are completely right. identical that's what i'm saying tail lights and all because it, it's see. not the 73 no nope. so nope. with the round ones it goes to the next ones They're before the they same. went to the 80s exactly or the not a bad car quarters are nice fenders the underneath is very nice so. interior is some so people would consider it real nice i consider it fair it's okay i mean the back is is the leather the front has still Changed it out. still has rolled seats yeah but it's a cloth seat yeah. which honestly if you're in florida or somewhere cloth seats way better over black leather yeah on black the um dash was still whole stuff that is usually rotten in florida isn't rotten on this because it started in new england okay and then it didn't now is this the one you were getting the z28 bag well i got this here? i got them for the sides this is where the okay chevy oh that's right goes. the chevy bag and it's laying on the front seat i just okay. come home with it yeah he hasn't he hasn't put on that's why we were waiting i have the factory match emblem for here both sides and the trunk lid i just bought today. now is it true and and you may know more than i do but i'm I know with when you were in like the 70 to 73. Oh, I go over this okay. Way. I get one That's all right. The so the 70 to 73 Camaros. Do something for me to pick up on that okay. when I pull out. Would you? Yeah, there you go. Oh, thank right. you. So the 70 to 73 noses. Yep. The Zs were the only ones that had the, the round light next to the headlight because the other ones would have their marker lights down there. Or possibly RSSS, right. depending on two. Or three, but your Berlinettas or stock, right. whatever, Nothing. would have everything down there. This would be yeah. flat. Is that the same with this year's? No. These years, this is what, 74, 5, 6, 7. This is what they all kind of look like in okay. the nose. The only difference would be your markings. Okay. Okay. So this is really when it was badging. Yes. Because you could... This you, is the beginning of vinyl sticker for badges. 72 still had steel chrome. 73 steel chrome whatever right. uh 74 went the vinyl stick-ons i actually even got the ones that went with the yellow car 
whatever right. I can show you they're sitting on the seat it's like three tone right and they're bigger the original ones which the, to me would look nice I didn't get I got the right ones that go with the year of the car okay which will look okay but it's the original of the vinyl and that's right. what it is yeah so this got high-rise manifold and it's oh, got this headers is a and everything nasty else little car this is like I say over 500 just aluminum heads oh gosh yeah oh just a nice little vector junior style intake dual plane big holly dual feed had to put a vacuum it's scammed up so freaking nasty this right here is a vacuum pump oh you okay. wouldn't draw enough vacuum to have power brakes so you actually have to put a vacuum pump in oh had to or you wouldn't stop the car wow oh she's so, a nice thumper yeah if you look at this thing and brand it's got new. electric fans got serpentine oh, belts got yeah. all the and everything yeah. is brand new. The radiator is brand new aluminum. The tranny cooler is brand new. Now, is this something you built and put together? No, a or... very good friend of mine, Mike Phyllis, out of Phyllis's Auto up in Gardner, Maine. This is only his second Chevy. He's a Ford guy. Okay, so this is his second build. This is his second Chevy. He's built probably 20 Mustangs. Okay. And he figured he'd try something else. Okay. So he tried a Camaro. And... I wasn't even going to own a car. I ended up with it three days before I left. I traded a pickup truck that I bought for a mechanic that I fired. Okay. And anyways, right. <laughs> but so it still needs a little chasing, but you can get in and drive it anywhere right now and go. Like, so now it's just little things, like you said, like the emblems and stuff like that, which you have. The little pieces of rubber that go in there. Right. So there's the trunk little box. things that are here. Yes. They're not put on yet. Exactly. But I mean, the car is complete. You could come down. You can oh, drive it up oh. to the trailer, hook the trailer to that truck, and then take that back wherever you're going. Oh, yeah so um and, and a lot of fun brand new exhaust uh calipers rotors all four wheels everything's brand new basically the entire drivetrain is less than 200 miles right. and if you come and you look you'll see i'm not a fibber i hate fibbers right. i wouldn't drag you out for it because it's wrong right. i do enough wild goose chase well that's the only reason we're seeing this on video <laughs> this isn't a picture in a you sell it magazine this is something where you guys are seeing this first hand and everything else yeah so and the other thing is this isn't you just you flip cars as a living because you're a dealer yes so he's a dealer that does this stuff so everything the paperwork's going to be right it's not where you show up and a guy says i'll mail you the title in seven to twelve weeks <laughs> you know it's not which yeah. you're going to wait six years with the car in your driveway if you're in florida sorry it's that's why you have lawsuits so <laughs> yeah. Everything he has, there's a title to, and he's used to working with that. For bank. the most part, I got to be good because some but, vehicles are out of Maine, and certain years won't offer you a title. But they usually come with a registration and the bill of sale, which the state will then offer. I was going to say, everything you sell is licensable. Is up front. Yes. If, now, okay. there may be a race car here and there that isn't street worthy, yeah. that it's like bill of sale. Right. But anything that he says that you're going to drive on the road, the state of Maine or some state somewhere, the yeah. state of confusion, somebody will give you a tag <laughs> yes, sir. Um, for it. And yeah. you're used to working with banks too, if somebody oh, yeah. goes through a specialty bank, yeah. you're used to working with Garrity and Haggerty Insurance and all those guys. Oh, yeah. so Come on. All right guys, sorry about that, my battery died. So we were just about getting to the drivetrain. So we've talked about the engine in this. Yep. What's we got as a transmission on here? You got a uh, manufacturer's TCI, which is a nationally known training company. It's a turbo 400. 3500 stall converter uh bulletproof up to about a thousand horsepower tranny um and it's uh 373 locker in the rear end okay. with brand new brakes in the rear also along with the front okay and, and does this have a, a loop underneath for drive shaft does this it have has, the drive shaft loop on it has frame connectors front to rear okay and if you take a Take a, just to lean over a little, they're not you just traction there, bars, guys. they're not traction bars, they're Lakewood locks right there, that bar there that you, you see in, doesn't slap on the spring, those are mounted right to it, All so right. you can adjust, you can adjust each one individually for body twist on the car and to keep your car square. So they're almost like can, the old ladder bars, but, but they're adjustable. adjustable. Yes, completely, I call it a Lakewood style bar, but yeah. And now does it have a fuel cell or a tank? I didn't. This see. has a brand new tank underneath okay. where it goes. Okay. Brand new, all the whole fuel. Basically, the only thing old on the car is the bumpers and interior. Um, okay. The complete drivetrain. I don't have pictures. Right now, was this because we were putting the Z on there? Was this a Z by this car serial number? An, this car 
I have no idea. Okay. Okay. It just looks like a good. It does. It, yeah. Right. I don't know if it was an LT or what it was. Now, how are the shocks up? Because old school, we used to do brand air new. shocks. There's air shocks in the rear. Oh, okay. And there's brand new stuff on the front. Okay. I don't know what the actual brand name is, yeah. but it's black. I don't know if it's a Monroe or not, but they're air in the rear along with leaf spring. And this evidently, it's got to be a newer paint job on there because yes. it's beautiful. Yep, I'm not sure. And how these are not it. decals. This is paint. No, that's all painted. Yeah. So the stripes are paint, it's guys. Over. It's not the cheap decal no, set. No, no. So and they and I don't know if they're exact. Um, what does it say right there in Phil black? Auto. He put his name. Okay. In the paint, so that's it was yellow. Saying. The Z28 emblem is going to go there okay. instead of there the factory gotcha. one went there i'm going to put right. it where that was mm -hmm. okay it, you know it is there, there you yet. go but it's not thirty-five thousand. nope <laughs> nope it, so you guys i i mean honestly this is a this is an eye opener and i don't know if you could tell by just looking at it that cow induction hood is steel is, by the way is hot oh it's a steel hood so it's not for glass so you have a steel cow induction hood yeah. but i can tell you right now that cow induction it looks nasty. Oh, that's nice. And you can look in through the, when you're sitting in the car and see the back of your air cleaner, it's a functioning yeah. towel hood. But it does have a nice rake to it and it's got yeah. some height to it too, yeah. so. Yeah, you don't drag the, you don't drag the uh, Henderson stuff on the ground. Right. Yeah, sure. There so we there you go. But it's a, it is a nice car. That has a nice look to it, everything else. So there you go. All right, guys, so that is uh, we looked at everything except for the LS right here. That's an LS uh, Pontiac, oh, right? Pontiac, yeah, yeah. And that's for sale as well. All and that's a six liter, right? That is, a, yeah. Six liter uh, Arizona car to start with. It's two owner. It went from the original Arizona owners to a couple in Maine. The lady that worked at the new car store mm. it was traded in, the secretary bought it as soon as it came in. They stuffed it in the garage, and then I purchased it from them like 11 months later. Okay. Um, and then it's one of And it's a GT G8 now. Is this the, these are lights? This car is so original, it'll make your head spin. Okay, so. so we have mod done, you rarely find these that haven't been modified. That's what I was asking, because the people who buy them, they want to street race them, because they have a six liter V8, guys. This isn't a five liter, it's a six liter V8. Yeah. So. In the day was good and just so original. I mean, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I mean, you could drive the kids to school in it, yeah, yeah, and then drive over to the racetrack in the afternoon, have your coffee, come back, yeah. pick up the kids, and go home. Yeah, so stone leather, cold air, every option offered except a roof. And I don't think you could get a roof unless you got a GT. P. Okay. I believe those are the only ones offered with a slide. And we've done the GTPs because that's what, if you look at my brother, when we just, his girlfriend has the one of the few GDPs, which is the twin turbo whatever. Yeah, and cool. that's a real, yeah, that's why I told you that was a super rare. And she's had that since new. But, nice. um, but yeah. So. Excuse but, my mess, oh. it's my driver. That's okay. And Harold left his coffee. I gotta get my phone too. <laughs> yeah. Harold that's... left his coffee cup. <laughs> so, but it's a beautiful car. So all this stuff is here. And then you also, and I'm not driving to Maine today because that's a kind of a hard drive, especially I gotta be back tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be a so, tough drive for you. But uh he's got other stuff up there, so you know, if you're interested now. You can receive texts. You have a hard time sending them, or you don't receive them either. No, I'll receive texts. So if you want to text, he's got some issues with hands. We all do as we get older. Um, so it's easier for him to call. So if you have a question, maybe you're looking for something, uh, let him know, because you buy and sell all the time. Oh, yeah. Sure. So if you're somebody who's like, hey, I'm stuck in Iowa, and I'd like to go to something where I could find this particular car, he's the whole east coast he could find something for you probably yep. if he doesn't have it but all this stuff here is for sale and uh, for real can be arranged yeah That's all that kind of stuff you know and mm -hmm. you know if you buy it in december then what you do is you fly the kids down you go to disney world that's an hour and a half away your kids fly home with mom or dad and either you or your husband or whoever wants to buy it you drop them off here you're only 30 minutes from Tampa Airport. Yep. They drop them off on the plane, and you drive home. And in some of these cars, you'll beat the plane home. So, <laughs> yeah. 
but anyway so i appreciate you opening up this was a great meet i met this gentleman what hey, two I, days I, ago I, right yeah two days ago at, at the at the 35th right. anniversary donnie garland yeah. but yeah so i'm but glad i walked over to you guys that's and and if you watch the one where we went to the sales paddock this was the car that was there so you can see this car again at the sales paddock um and uh it, it was getting i guess you guys were packing up maybe not i don't know probably yes because it started to rain almost right there. so so we're just let's real quick we've got that truck which is not ready yet but could be very easily or somebody can take it home the only reason it's not ready is i had an older gentleman come over here twice who told me he was just finishing up another car and was going to come back and get it otherwise it would already be a part okay. the other train he'd be in and it'd be running but i waited for someone don't ever wait for people that's right the, yeah and like a fool i did so we got a beautiful uh nova, nova ss which is a not a real ss but it is a modern ss car we've got the the very rare one of 25 dale earnhardt cars two of the 60s trucks out front we've got the uh the um let's see go with the challenger. mopar challenger then out there we've got a ramp truck the camaro the gt and that pickup and who knows next week and a trailer if they need a trailer. oh and the car trailer if you need a car trailer <laughs> and a fan and, and yeah. some beauty rings and don't forget it's almost yep. christmas a partridge in a pear there tree because there's a tree out here with a partridge in it i yep. know there is we're a flamingo because we're in florida now yeah. i'll we get don't a know. flamingo for the next visit so, <laughs> so if you buy a car you get a ple free plastic flamingo with each yes, car yes so all right guys thank you for watching this was really fun it was really uh nice uh, you know we see these man caves like this all the time and you always wish you had one and we found people that have them and they're nice enough to share with us so um hopefully we'll come back when you get some other stuff we'll keep in touch and like i said uh if you want to do it we're going to put the phone number underneath um you're here and do you have you want to put is there a, one phone number or is there a phone number for you or one for up there just mine currently just is the only one all right so we're going to put that below so it'll always be there in the written area so if you want to see just check that out um and then we'll talk to you later here's april thanks guys okay. april should they subscribe to this channel even if they don't like cars today for this one probably just for this one says merchandise store right here merchandise store link you will see it says https forward slash junkyards dash bar dash barn dash finds with and you click on that and it's going to take you here